Hello friends and welcome to the Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes video. This is Thaddeus from Going Nerdy and today I would like to present to you Ray Jedi training against the heroic HAAT tank. Now this is like my favorite phase to play. I just love it. It's just so easy. It's really if if you have any concept of how to play against the tank this is the most basic the most fundamentally convenient easy one to play i really like it um phase four is similar but they have the you know addition of those two guards on the side and the swooping in and it's it's just a lot of more a lot more and so this one's simple it's easy and so usually i i run my my resistance team with a Finn Zeta lead and it's it's phenomenal it does some great damage I can get anywhere between six and eight thousand on a good day or I'm sorry I can get anywhere between six and eight million damage on a good day usually if I'm really not paying attention or I'm not too into it um I do about four or three million um but it's it's still a lot of fun and it's it's a great team to play but with this new Ray, I really wanted to try out and and see if she was a good replacement for a Zeta Fen. Now I tried a few different teams. I actually burnt myself out on playing this because I, I went through the heroic raid myself just completely. Phase one just dominated it the first time, filmed what we we're watching now. Then I, you know, realized that I wasn't playing it. As, as well as I should and so I re I reshot it and I, and I I exited out of the tank and I re went in tried to do phase two again and it took me a little bit longer and and this time I was able to get my footage but man was it frustrating to get to it um, and there's one thing that I noticed or a few things that I noticed with this with this ray team um, I you, you're not going to play it exactly the same as you would play the resistance team with a Finn lead. With a Finn lead, um, you have the dynamic between Finn and Poe Dameron. As you can see here, I'm not using Poe Dameron. I'm using Ray and I'm using R2-D2. Now, BB-8 is a must. I am using Finn because I do like that, that powerful hit that he throws down. Um, his special and every time you use a special you're you know get, you're helping to trigger the illuminated destiny of BB-8 I am able to trigger illuminated destiny a lot but um, really what I realized that I was doing wrong in this this first footage the first the first time that I played it um, I realized that I wasn't using Ray's basic often enough I was trying to use her bonuses every single time and that's not necessarily needed, and it's not going to be what's going to give you the most power. Now, Ray has this awesome basic attack that gives plus 25 damage for these four different things. So if, if she has a buff, if she has no buffs, that's, that's 25 apiece. If the enemy has no buffs and they're debuffed, it's 25 apiece. So that's something to that extent. And so if those four things exist, she gets this like super awesome buff for her basic attack and it's it's phenomenal it's pretty it's pretty hardcore now i don't have the best mods on these characters and they still do quite a bit of damage now what's cool is i also realized with i was i was using the wrong character um when i was using her special ability um that special ability on the far right what it does is you select a resistance trooper or a resistance character not necessarily the trooper and um you give them they they help you they help you out now what you should always be doing is selecting bb8 because when bb8 attacks out of turn and his attacks not terrible um he calls in another random resistance ally now often what i noticed is he kept calling in ray jedi trading which does more damage on that first on that basic attack anyways which is pretty sweet. Um, now I also have uh, Ray Scavenger. I have Finn, and then I have R two D two. Now the reason I put R two D two in was specifically for his his burn effect. Um, I have speed and critical on on him, and 
it wasn't as effective as I would have liked it to be. Now, spoiler alert, I didn't beat this, but I did get about 8 million in damage, which is not terrible, and it's definitely not nothing, anything to scoff at. But there's a lot of teams out there that can do 8 million in damage. That's not anything that to to necessarily brag about. There's a few teams out there that can do 20 plus million in damage. You have to have Zetas and you have to have a bunch of other things. Now, that's the other thing I noticed about this team. You do have to have all three Zetas on Jedi or Jedi Training Ray, and you have to have two Zetas on, on BB-8. Now, I have BB-8 completely maxed out. I have Ray completely maxed out. What you're looking at here is a series of characters that are completely leveled, geared, Zated where possible. That's a lot of Zetas on this one team. On this one team, there's, let's see, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There are nine Zetas amongst these five people. Maybe, maybe even 10 if I'm miscounting. Maybe I'm forgetting one. But that's a lot. That's a powerful, powerful team. And to only only do 8 million in damage, is it really worth it for using all of your Zetas? Now, you could use, you could break up those 8 Zetas into other characters, into other tunes, and, you know, get more bang for your buck. Now, it was a fun team to play. And I love my test account because then I can go through and tweak these little teams and and, and have a lot of fun with them. But I wanted to show you guys this video and I'll let it play out and I'll just fade into the background here. But I, I really like this team and I think Jedi Ray or Ray Jedi training, no matter what you thought of Star Wars 8, I think this character is going to be pretty awesome. And I'm really excited to see her play out. And I'm really excited to see the different teams and combinations that you guys create and that you guys put her up. If you want to see her in a specific team combination, leave a comment in the section below. I am looking for people to um, give me some ideas or some some concepts uh, as to what you'd like to see. You know, what team makeup you'd like to see her on or what specifically you'd like to see her fight against. So that being the case... Leave a comment in the section below, subscribe, like, share this video, and let me know what you think about this specific team. How would you have done it differently? This has been Thaddeus from Going Nerdy, and as always, my friends, stay nerdy.